Though most of them came garbed in black, the air inside the session hall of the August body was punctuated with moments of levity and laughter as senators then and now and guests recounted with fondness the life of an esteemed former colleague, feisty freedom fighter and political prisoner in the dark days of the dictatorship. PTV's Joy Gumate with a brief preview on the life of one ex-Senator Eva Estrada Kalau and her invaluable contributions to the nation's struggle for democracy and to the strengthening of the lawmaking body she was part of. Lefters filled the session hall as the Senate remembered the legacies of late Senator Eva Estrada Kalau after her untimely death on May 25. She was 96. Her bereaved family and friends wore black, but the eulogies delivered by her co-senators Eddie Ilarde, René Sagisag, and Teresa Aquino Oreta were centered on the good memories they spent with the deceased senator. They also looked back on her undeniably emulative courage and dedication to be of service to the Filipino people. She would always talk about pag tayo nasa Senado ulit, pag tayo nandun, we are going to do right for our people. We are going to be honest. We are going to file bills for the good of the country and people. At uh, ipakikita natin sa kanila that senators are honest, dedicated, and devoted. In recognition of her outstanding contribution to national development, the Senate presented a resolution expressing its sympathy to the bereaved family of Senator Kalau. Her hard work was recognized and rewarded by the Filipino people, giving her the distinction of the first woman senator to be re-elected. Imagine what else she could have done in terms of legislation had her term as senator not been abbreviated by the declaration of martial law. Furthermore, Senate President Coco Pimentel promised that the current Congress will keep on fighting for her advocacies, particularly in the fields of education, tourism, and national freedom. Late Senator Kalau is known for her brave efforts to oppose the two-decade dictatorship of former President Ferdinand Marcos. After being detained in Fort Santiago and being injured at the Plaza Miranda bombing, she almost ran for 1986 presidency to ultimately put an end to Marcos' authoritarian rule, but eventually let former President Corazon Aquino take the seat after the overwhelming support from the public. Late Senator Kalau also served as the foundation of the Salary Standardization Act for Public School Personnel, Magna Carta for Private Schools, Magna Carta for Students, and the Act to Institute a Charter for Barrio High Schools in the country. For the Nation, Joy Gumatay.